today's Food for Thought comes from the third chapter, 2 Peter, verses 14 and 15, which reads, Therefore, beloved, looking forward to these things, be diligent to be found by him in peace, without spot and blameless. And consider that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, as our beloved brother Paul, according to the wisdom given to him, has written to you. Diligence. That is a word that I believe we often overlook, especially when it comes to scripture. In fact, I would ask all of you today, what do you think it means to be diligent? You see, diligence, it is all about consistency. It is being constant and being steady. When you are diligent about how you carry yourself, that means that you are being consistent in how you carry yourself, whether in good times or in bad times. Peter, he tells us to look forward to the day of the Lord and be diligent to be found by the Lord in peace without spot and blameless. What Peter is telling us to do is to be steady in living by the word of God so that there is no sin within us. There are going to be many trials, tribulations, and temptations that we will face in the world that will try to move us away from being steady in how we live by the word of God. Don't let the world move you from the word of God. In fact, I say to you today, don't let anybody move you from the word of God. Paul, he encouraged us sincere believers to be steadfast, to be immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. To all of us, Jesus told us that the work of God is to believe in him whom he sent. The father, I want you to understand, sent his only begotten son, and you should be having faith in who? The only begotten son of God. Don't ever be moved from having faith in Christ. When you remain steadfast in your faith, you will receive the blessings of God in this world and you will receive the blessings that are to come in his heavenly kingdom.